Hi, this is Neve Arthur, the Stay at Home Family, with the Scientific Happiness Project. This is the very first video, and I'm so excited to be doing this. I have so much to share with you. We've got chemistry, we've got biology, we've got neuroplasticity, we've got a little bit of spirituality. We have so much stuff to go over. But I realized that until you understand one basic premise, it's not really going to help you that much. Uh, if you don't believe this one thing, you're probably not going to watch the videos, they're not gonna, you're not going to apply them, they're going to sound great as you're watching it, but it's not going to affect you. So you need to understand this. One, your thoughts matter, and two, you can control your thoughts. Now right now, you go, yeah, my thoughts matter. No, but your thoughts really matter. They really affect your results in life, in business, in health, in whatever it is you're looking to change or improve. It all starts with your thinking. Now why is that? Well, there's a few reasons and we're going to dig into them in further videos. However, as a brief idea, your thoughts are creating neurons firing in your brain. That's basically what thoughts are. As that happens, they send signals to your body to create different chemistry within your body. Again, we're going to dig into this a little bit deeper. However, it's that body chemistry that gives you your feeling. And your feeling can create either motivation or that feeling of bleh. Either drive and passion and purpose or that feeling that you need to sit around and watch TV. All of that comes from your body, not from your mind. But it's your mind that signals your body what to be feeling. Okay, your thoughts also can have an effect outside of your body. Did you know there's something in quantum physics called the observer effect? And, uh, and it's been known to happen that when a scientist is trying to observe a single atom or a single electron, that, that just the very act of them observing it changes it. Just the very act that they are focusing their attention upon it, holds it into one spot, makes it uh, lose all the other potential places that it could be, and it makes it in, stay in that one spot. What does that mean? That means that your thoughts and your focus affects the world around you because the world is created, is made up of atoms and electrons and protons and all those things, right? So your thoughts can affect your outside world and they affect your inside world. Okay, and you can control them. Right now it feels like you can't because you're allowing them to go on autopilot. You're allowing something to happen, some influence to come in, and your thoughts then take over. They take over because you've already memorized some thoughts. You've memorized a response. You have this feeling of who you are, and who you are responds to this stimuli in a certain way. Okay, but you can change that. And we're going to work on how you can change that. But the most important thing you can decide right now is that your thoughts are the most important thing because they create your world around you and you have control over it. And because of that, if you want to change the world around you, you change your thinking. Now we're going to dig into this in the next few videos, so don't worry if this felt a little bit rushed and a little bit like, what? Um, but we are going to dig into how you change your thoughts and we're going to dig a little bit more into that chemistry stuff, into why your thoughts matter. But for right now, try that. Just stop and take on the belief, if I really felt like my thoughts created my outcomes and that I could control my thoughts, how would I change what I'm doing? What would I do differently? Just start to think about that as you go through your day today before you watch your next video. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and like our Facebook page to follow along on this journey with us. So excited to have you here. Spend the day with that question in your mind. If I take on the belief that my thoughts truly create my outcome, if your thoughts truly create your outcome and you control your thoughts, what would you do differently today? And try doing that. So I'll see you in the next video.